welcome back all my nail art lovers. I tried many times to get a close-up shot of this fish in the flesh but it wasn't happening but um, if you want to see more of marine fish, if you love mar marine fish then please check out my husband's channel Fish Fingers. He's new to YouTube and all the support we very much appreciate it. So those are the colours that I'm using as the sponge gradient base which I am applying to a white base coat. So I just uh, started off by applying the darker purple. Sorry, I just realised I was kind of a bit off camera with that. And then I put the neon pink over the top and kind of try and blend the colours just a little bit. And then I will put the yellow colour on at the bottom. I'm only putting like the slight purple just because the fish is more sort of the neon pink and the yellow. So just keep adding um, the colours. Add quite a bit just to make sure that the sponge is, is saturated in the polish for a better result. And then I just sort of dab it onto the nail. So I um, just keep dabbing it till it starts to feel a little bit like it's going dry, like so. So I do the same again with the other nail. And I go over this uh, two times for uh, the effect that I'm going after. So then because I'm applying uh, powders, I'm putting on a gel top coat just so I've got that tacky layer for the powders to stick to. So these are the three powders that I am using. Um, I've done a review on the neon ones recently, so if you want to see more of that, then go and check it out. So just with my flat brush, I just gently uh, apply the powders over, obviously the you know purple over purple, pink over pink, and yellow over yellow, and just sort of blend it in a little bit. And I do the same with the purple. Now, uh, this has got a bit of a shimmer, that's why it's like um, sort of what looks like white dots. But actually, in the end, I thought it worked out quite well because if you look on the picture of the Royal Grammar, it has kind of got a bit of a spotty, um, not complexion, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so it worked out kind of quite well in the end. And then I finish it off with the neon. Obviously, if you don't like this look, you can just keep it. Um, with just the polish or you know if you haven't got these powders or whatever I would just wanted to incorporate these powders into the design because um, when I showed people uh, the the royal grammar that we had in our fish tank that my friend said the colors of the fish would be amazing for a nail art tutorial so this is kind of where I got the inspiration from so um, this is what it looks like after all the polish is on. So it's the two nails together. And then um, you just wanna finish off with your top coat. And that's those nails uh, completed. So then for the other nail or an accent nail, I wanted to use my sailor plate and those are the stamping polishes that I used. And I kind of incorporated all the colors. Um, so it's a bit like um, an ombre effect. Um, so I just sort of did a little bit of the purple, then a big majority of the pink, and then finished off with the yellow, because these kind of reminded me a bit of fish scales. So then when you scrape it, you get this lovely um, blend of colours, and I'm using my creative stamper and scraper. So you can see that you get like a lovely blend of the colours and then I put this over a white background and then you get this lovely fish sort of scale effect on the nail which I think with the blend of colours looks gorgeous. And then again you just want to finish off um, with the top coat. And these are all the nails together and I think it looks lovely it's absolutely perfect for summer with the bright colors so um, I was really impressed with how it came out so please tell me in the comments box below if you liked this design 
and I just wanted a big special thank you to the Royal Grammar for its wonderful colours and the inspiration for this nail art. So thanks for watching today. Bye!